Okay, so um, the next free response question that I'm going to walk through with you guys is from 2011. Um, you might remember this free response question. We did this um, on the quarterly assessment first semester, and um, people really struggled with it. So I wanted to pull it out of the uh, cold storage for you to try. So pause the screen for a minute and uh, see if you can tackle the question. And then we'll be back and we'll go over it. Okay, so this question is from 2011 and we're taking the 2015 exam and there really hasn't been a question regarding real and nominal GDP in this manner since 2011. So hopefully I'm wrong when I say that we're due, but I feel like we're due. Um, so let's take a minute and sort of hash this out. Um, so this is one of the shorter free response questions. If you guys can see over here, it's question number three. So it's one of those uh, questions that counts for um, 25%. So 25 and 25. And then the first question is 50. So it says the outputs and the prices of goods and services in country X are shown in the table above. Assuming that 2009 is the base year, calculate each of the following. So it says the nominal gross domestic product in, of GDP in 2010 and the GDP in two, that, or the real GDP. So I'm just going to take this and cut and paste this from this question so I can work with it and type. So that way you guys can see it and I can see it and we can work with it together. So the first thing to remember here is that real and nominal GDP, real GDP is adjusted for inflation, um, whereas nominal GDP is in the current year prices. So the nominal gross domestic product in 2010 is going to be the 2010 prices times the 2010 quantity. So let me just widen up this screen a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to take 2, 250 times 8, 5 times 8 is 40, 2 times 8 is 16 plus 4. All right, so that's going to be $20. 10 times 10, that's $100. And then 5 times 5, that's 25. So adding those together, the nominal GDP is going to be $145. The real GDP, if you guys remember from class, some of you guys had a hard time doing this, and you made it much more complicated than it was because I think you're just good thinkers and you overcomplicated things. So all we're going to do is take the 2010 quantity and use the 2009 price. The 2009 quantity is actually irrelevant information, so we don't really need that. So 250 times 8, we already did that, so that's $20. 6 times 10 is $60. 4 times 5 is $20. So 20 plus 60 is 80 plus 20 is a hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars is the answer for part two of section A. This looks kind of messy, so I'm going to clean it up a little. So again, this was, this is two points on this question and it's not that difficult, but if you forget how to do it, I feel like, you know, it could cost you a lot of points in a section that you don't need that to be cost. So keep in mind, again, that nominal GDP is using the current prices and real GDP is using the base year. And they even reminded you of that there. So going back to the question, we're going to keep those. It says, if in one year the price index is 50 and in the next year it's 55, what is the rate of inflation? So you already have the price index, so you don't really need to do much to that. You really don't need to convert these numbers. You're just going to keep the 50 and the 55. Some of you guys saw that it went up five and therefore you thought, well, five, that must be 5%. Um, and that was an incorrect answer. If it goes from 50 to 55, it increased by five and five is 10% Sorry, I don't want to work with the little hand tool here. 
10% is the answer. Because 5 is 10% of 50. Going back to the question, assume that next year's wage rate will be 3% higher than this year's because of inflationary expectations. The actual inflation rate is 4%. At the beginning of the year, will the real wage be higher, lower, or the same as today? Well, in order to figure out the real wage, you have to adjust for inflation. So if the wage rate is 3% higher, but inflation turns out to be 4%, that means that the real wage is actually 1% lower than it should be in order to cancel out the effects of inflation. So the real wage is, let me just go back to the question because I kind of forgot what it asked. It says, at the beginning of the year, will the real wage be lower, will be higher, lower, or the same as today? It will be lower. Assume that Sarah gets a fixed rate loan from a bank with the expected inflation rate is 3%. If the actual inflation rate turns out to be 4, who benefits from the unexpected inflation? Sarah, the bank, neither, or both. And notice the explains. So there's probably two points up here for grabs. So remember, the expected inflation rate is 3%. The actual inflation rate turns out to be 4 So if she gets a fixed rate at an interest rate that expects 3%, but the inflation turns out to be 4 she's actually going to be paying less. So let's take a look at those answers. So if we go down to the rubric, they explain that one point is earned for saying that the real wage will be lower, which we said, and then it says one point is earned for stating that Sarah will benefit, because remember, she's actually paying less because inflation was more than the rate of her loan. Um, the question doesn't overtly say that she gets a fixed rate of 3%, but because it says the expected inflation rate is 3%, we can kind of imply that that's what they're basing the interest rate on. So your explanation also earns a point. Um, oh no, I'm wrong. It's only one point for the whole answer. So it's one point is saying that she'll benefit because her fixed loan payments will have less value. Um, so they're giving you all or nothing for that one. So this question is five points long. And the interesting thing to me is, is that I think that parts C and D are much more difficult than part A, and they're worth the same amount of points. So make sure that you guys keep in mind um, how to calculate real versus nominal. So that's a pretty important skill. And again, first semester, when we did this question, a lot of us struggled on it. And I think that you guys were all kind of disappointed after the fact. And um, I just want to make sure that you're equipped to answer a question like that again in the future.